If you happen to catch our show throughout the week, it's no surprise to hear that the Buffalo Wine Festival is this Saturday at the Buffalo Convention Center downtown. It's back and better than ever. And that's why Whitney Rambaldo is here on behalf of Erie Promotions along with Jason Merritt of Merritt Estate Winery. Welcome to the two of you. Thanks for having us. You made it here in the snow, huh? We made it. I know, <laughs> I know. And you know what? The snow isn't going to hold us back this weekend because the Wine Fest is on Saturday. Whitney, give us the lowdown. What's going to be happening? Absolutely. So, uh, like you said, it's tomorrow. Um, we have two sessions, an afternoon and an evening. Um, we also added an additional VIP session this year. So there is an afternoon VIP. VIP gets a little extra. They get, um, you know, a little money towards purchasing bottles of wine, and they get an additional tasting hour, which is awesome. Um, and we also have an evening session. The VIP st session starts at 5. Um, so we're going to be there. We have over 25 wineries. I think we have about 29 wineries. Merit being one of them. Um, so it's a great day. Your ticket is your tasting ticket for the day. So you come in and unless you, you want to purchase bottles, of course, but you can go around and sample all of the wines, the vendors. So there's a lot to do. And this is wonderful because all of the top wineries here in Western New York are in one spot at the convention center. And Jason, you're one of them with Merit Estate Winery. Talk to me about your place. Where are you located? Uh, we're down in Forestville, which is about 35 minutes south of the city. Uh, and and uh, today, or days like today when it's not necessarily the best driving. But uh, 35 minutes out, um, we're really easy to get here right off the 90. Um, we've been around for, I think this is our 42nd year. We've been around since 1976. Wow. We've been part of this festival since its inception before mm -hmm. Erie Promotions took it over. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been growing every year and we enjoy it a lot. What are some of your most popular wines? What do you specialize in? Well, it, we specialize more in the fun kind of wines. Uh, oh, we like the sounds of that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, like, we've got a, a, three of them that we brought today. We've got the the nice uh, crisp Pinot Grigio, which isn't necessarily a fun wine, but our Bella Rosa, which is a sweet Lambrusco style red, uh, is what we're most known for. And then we got our, as you would call it, scandalous ecstasy, which is scandalous. sweet and pomegranate. <laughs> it's kind of fun. We do a bunch of different things with it. Uh, one of the most popular things we do with the ecstasy is our wine slush, which leads me into my next thing, our slush bus. Uh, which is our, our roaming food truck is going to be actually at the festival uh, so people can come up and buy the ecstasy slush there and also our sangria slush This as is well. a new addition to the Merritt family. How exciting, especially yeah. in the summertime. Mm -hmm. You're going to see that slush bus just about everywhere. Well, yes, we're going to be at Canal Side a couple times. We're going to do a few things actually in the city with it. Uh, you can rent it privately for functions if we're not already booked somewhere else. And so it's it's fun. It, it Really, it's licensed as a food truck. I could pull up on a street corner and sell wine slush if I wanted to, although I think people might raise an eyebrow at that <laughs> if I was actually doing that, but, uh, but it's fun. It's, it's neat. We got a big sound system in there, an LED light show, so it's a lot of fun. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. So this is an overall experience. You're able to taste the wine slushies and then mm -hmm. It really is like yeah. quite the experience. So talk to me about your types of wine slushies. Uh, so we got the two. We originally started uh, with the Sangria wine slush, which is a uh, citrus based. And uh, my mother actually pioneered wine slush back in the mid 80s. Okay. Long, long time ago. And now everybody and their little brother is making it. But our other uh, variety that we do is the ecstasy, as I mentioned a second ago, that's sweeter and it's pomegranate. And sometimes to get creative, we actually mix the two together as well. Ooh, so, so that's yeah. exciting. I know you're I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm interested. <laughs> and what's so great is the uh, the wine slushy bus will be at the convention center mm -hmm. tomorrow, so you'll yeah. have to check it out. And then you'll also be inside the building. What are some common questions that Western New Yorkers can ask to get to know you and about your wine estate? Um, a lot of the times, the the questions that we get are are uh, I, boy. It you can really think of anything, right? You actually right? stumped me on that way, but, but literally you get the crazy questions for people like they'll say, oh, do you got something that doesn't taste like wine? Mm -hmm. You get uh, the new questions like, are, is this gluten free? Is it vegan? Like all sorts of questions today that we weren't getting 10, 15 years ago, which is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. um, and no, it's everything is gluten free and there is no, or it is vegan as well. So anybody oh, who's, wow. who's concerned about that, we Good do. Good to know. That's well, so interesting. Yeah, because yeah, there's no wheat products that typically go in wine from your fermentation process and things like that. And obviously there's no animal products that go into it either. So. How many different mm -hmm. wines will you be bringing with you to the festival? That I think we we're going to have uh, 11 or 12 with us. Okay. Um, different skews and stuff like that. But, you know, we, the ecstasy also, we can make martinis out of it, which is kind of fun. We mix it two to one with vodka. So, all sorts of fun little things. Yeah, so there's we a get, lot of different yeah. options. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. So we'll have the, <laughs> we have the wine booth and then we'll have the slush bus, and they're within eyesight of each other. And so they, we cross promote the, 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 the two of them. But we aim for a lot of fun uh, with our booth. So, 
That's perfect, That's Jason. That's why Whitney chose us to come on. Yeah, up. and we're excited to uh, check you out at the <laughs> Wine Festival. Whitney, let's recap. The festival is tomorrow. What are the times, and where can you purchase your tickets? Absolutely. First session starts tomorrow at noon. The second one starts at 5. Um, tickets are still available. Um, I would recommend getting them online. Um, they will be available at the door because we added that extra session, but to skip the line and the hassle, I would suggest getting them online. Uh, BuffaloWineFestival.com. You can get them there, and all of the wineries are listed, so if you want to get a little jump start in your planning for tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, the tickets are going quick, so buy them now, buffalowinefestival.com. Yes. Yes, and the Wine Fest is this weekend. Yep, so exciting. It's very exciting. Jason, thank you for joining us. Whitney, Absolutely. the same to you. Wine tasting, food, shopping, and we're just getting started. That's this weekend at the Buffalo Wine Festival. Make sure to purchase your tickets today at buffalowinefestival.com.